Chapter 16. I commend unto you Phoebe, our sister, which is a servant of the church, which is in Chenchria, that ye receive her in the Lord as become a saint, and that ye assist her in whatsoever business she hath need of you. For she hath been a succorer of many, and of myself also. Greet Priscilla and Aquila, my helpers in Christ Jesus, who have for my life laid down their own necks, unto whom not only I give thanks, but also all the churches of the Gentiles. Likewise, greet the church that is in their house. Salute my well-beloved Apenetus, who is the firstfruits of Achaia unto Christ. Greet Mary, who bestowed much labor on us. Salute Andronicus and Junius, my kinsmen and my fellow prisoners, who are of note among the apostles, who also were in Christ before me. Greet Amplius, my beloved in the Lord. Salute Urbane, our helper in Christ. And Stachys, my beloved, salute Apollos, approved in Christ. Salute them which are of Astrobolus' household. Salute Herodian, my kinsman. Greet them that be of the household of Narcissus, which are in the Lord. Salute Tryphena and Tryphosa, who labor in the Lord. Salute the beloved Persis, who labored much in the Lord. Salute Rufus, chosen in the Lord, and his mother and mine. Salute Asyncritus, Phlegon. Hermas, Petrobus, Hermes, and the brethren which are with them. Salute Philologus and Julia, Nereus and his sister, and Olympus, and all the saints which are with them. Salute one another with an holy kiss. The churches of Christ salute you. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned, and avoid them. For they, are, for they that are such serve not our Lord Jesus Christ, but their own belly and by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. For your obedience is come abroad unto all men. I am glad, therefore, on your behalf. But yet I would have you wise unto that which is good and simple concerning evil. And the God of peace shall bruise Satan under your feet shortly. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. Timotheus, my workfellow, and Lucius, and Jason, and Sosipater, my kinsmen, salute you. I, Tertius, who wrote this epistle, salute you in the Lord. Gaius, mine host, and the whole church saluteth you. Erastus, the chamberlain of the city, saluteth you. And Quartus, a brother. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Now to him that is of power to establish you according to my gospel and the preaching of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery which was kept secret since the world began. But now is made manifest, and by the scripture of the prophets, according to the commandment of the everlasting God, made known to all nations for the obedience of faith. To God only wise be glory through Jesus Christ forever. Amen. Written to the Romans from Corinthus, and sent by Phoebe, servant of the church at Chenchria. To some people, chapter 16 appears to be dull and boring. It seems to be just a list of people. But there are an amazing number of details in here that it would be very easy to gloss over and miss that have some significance to understanding how the church was in the days of Paul. For instance, now, we talk about uh, verse 1, I commend unto you Phoebe, our sister, which is a servant of the church, which is at Chenchria. Now, you probably haven't got a clue of where Chenchria was but you're about to find out. Chantria, what Chantria was uh, located about six miles east of the city of Corinth. Corinth is located at the very narrow part of land between the mainland body of Greece and the huge peninsula that is called the Peloponnesus. Now the Peloponnesus has a couple of hundred miles of shoreline around it. And the reason why Chantria and Corinth and another town, which is also a couple of miles away, were so important was that all of the ships that would travel along the coast would come from Athens, go to Chantria. The smaller ships would be transported overland. They wouldn't be dragged. They'd be put on some kind of wheeled vehicles and hauled the four miles overland to put in the water on the other side at the end of the port. They would get in at Chenchria and be hauled onto the other side. 
because it saved hundreds of miles of very dangerous travel along its totally rocky shore all the way around the Peloponnesus where a lot of ships had died. And Chantria was, although a fairly wealthy place, was also not a large place. And so the fact that there was a branch of the Church of Jesus Christ located in Chantria tells us that the church was doing quite well and that it wasn't just located in the bigger places that many of the smaller places had it. You would not necessarily have known that. Secondly, again, we see something, but here is Paul's writing about that you receive for in the Lord as become a saint. You need to remember that he everybody in those days, all the members were called saints, not because they were like perfect, but because the concept was that they were trying to live more perfect lives. And they didn't call themselves Saint so-and-so and Saint so-and-so was brother or sister. And that she assists her in whatsoever business she hath need. And so whatever, not necessarily doing business, but whatever affairs she needs. Okay, And she would probably have gone ahead to try and arrange things so that when Paul comes to Rome, his needs are looked after, he has a place to stay, all of those sorts of things. For she hath been a succorer of many. In other words, she has helped many people, and myself also. Greet Priscilla and Aquila, my helpers in Christ Jesus. They lived in Corinth. They were tent makers. And we learned in an earlier chapter that Paul was a tent maker, and he worked with them to make tents. And that is how he made money in order to support himself. And these were very valiant people who have laid down, who have for my life laid down their own necks. They risked death to support Paul in some way, shape, or form, which he didn't say. Verse 5, likewise greet the church that is in their house. So Priscilla and Aquila would do what all of the leaders of all of the churches in all of the communities did, and they had their churches in their house on Sunday. Interesting. They didn't have rented buildings. They didn't have their own. Church took place in their house. Salute my well-beloved Eponidas, who is the first fruits of Achaia unto Christ. So this man was the first one that was baptized in this particular area. Greet Mary, we're not sure which Mary. Also salute Andronicus and Junica, my kinsmen, they're related to him somehow, and my fellow prisoners, so they were uh, also charged with something, who are of note among the apostles. Now it doesn't, that, that I've had a few people who have said, well that means that these people were apostles too. No, they were known by the apostles. Andronicus and Junica, Junia were known by the apostles. So they were people of note. Some other people that he introduces to the people in Rome who were obviously coming. And then verse 17, 18, and 19. For I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which you have learned, and avoid them. In other words, if you have people who deliberately cause problems, you avoid them. For they are they that such as serve not Lord Jesus Christ, but serve their own belly. They look after their own needs. They're doing things for their own reasons. And by good words and fair speeches, they deceive the hearts of the simple. That's why you have the gift of the Holy Ghost to tell the difference between the people who would cause problems because they don't know and people who cause it because they're trying to take advantage of you. Verse 19, for your obedience, brethren and sisters, in Rome is come abroad to all men. I am glad, therefore, in your behalf that you are obedient, but yet I would have you wise unto that which is good and simple concerning evil. I want you to understand that even those things which you think of, they might be good, might be simple, straightforward either things. Sometimes those are evil things too. You need to be aware of things that are going to possibly harm you and possibly harm other people. I want you to live righteously, do the things that you need to do. And then verse 22, I, Tertius, who wrote this epistle, salute you in the Lord. Paul didn't write this himself. It was written by a scribe for him. 